let's take a look at chemistry and how it relates to the scientific method. We'll take a look at a very simple four-step version of the scientific method. We'll think about how a chemist needs to use controls in order to apply this method. And we'll go into a little more detail than you might normally see with these controls. We'll take a look at both positive and negative controls. This is Screencast 1.4. Here's a nice simple version of the scientific method. The memory crutch is oh heck, I know that. O H E C. Forget the K. O for observation. Take a look at something and wonder about it. H for hypothesis. Offer an answer to it. The sky is blue due to Rayleigh scattering. E. Develop an experiment to verify whether that's the case. And C, offer a conclusion based on that. If you're worried about it or if it's not confirmed about nine different ways, you better do a few laps to make sure that everything works out fine. All experiments need something to compare them to. That means you really better have a control, a standard for comparison. For example, suppose you're coming up with a pain medication. You better see how that thing is doing. Do, to do it well, you could compare it to something with a known result, like a benchmark. For example, aspirin. If you think you got a real powerful pain medication, you might compare it to morphine. Interestingly, for some studies, but not for all, you better do a negative control study as well. Also offer a placebo, something that has no effect. This is particularly important in the pain medication field. For example, when you give a person a pill, especially if you're a doctor with a white coat on and a serious expression on your face, uh, you give that pill to somebody and they may say, yeah, I feel better, but they are receiving something that has no useful medicine in it at all. That's called the placebo effect and it can be powerful. Up to a third of patients, for example, in a study might respond based on the placebo effect. So you better do that to prevent false positives, or another way of prevent to putting it is to prevent people from diluting themselves. A sugar pill is an example of a placebo. This is Screencast 1.4.